we want to go now to the uh, Spanish city uh, where the train tragedy occurred late last week. Breaking news from Spain. The driver of that train uh, that crashed uh, is uh, facing charges. Our Carl Penhall is in Santiago de Compostela and has the latest. Carl, what can you tell us? Andrew, that hearing has now ended after more than five hours and uh, a spokeswoman for the judge here at the court has now made a statement. She says that the train driver, Francisco Jose Garcon, uh, is now being formally charged with 79 counts of homicide due to professional recklessness. He's also being charged with an indeterminate number of counts of causing injury because of uh, professional recklessness. However, he is being given a provisional release. He will be able to uh, uh, return to either his home or possibly his mother's home. She lives at a house about an hour's drive from here. He has had his passport withdrawn. He will not be able to leave uh, Spain while the investigations are continuing. Uh, and also, his train driver's license has been withdrawn for a period of six months. He will, of course, now have to appear once a week before the judge uh, just to uh, prove that he is still in the country and still available for questioning. Uh, you can see a police van moving past now. Uh, we aren't exactly sure if uh, Mr. Garcon has left the courtroom now. As I say, he's been given a provisional release, um, uh, but we don't know at what stage he will be leaving the courtroom or where he will be heading to, Andrew. Professional recklessness, uh, Carl, d that, uh, I assume, revolves around uh, the speed of the train? Well, professional recklessness, uh, what we understand from that is homicide caused in the line of his work, um, caused by, by his actions as a train driver. Um, there is no, so far here, no details about uh, uh, the evidence against him, certainly uh, in the course of uh, these few days since the accident on Wednesday, there has been a great deal of speculation uh, that uh, Mr. Garcon was driving that train at excessively high speeds around a bend uh, where there was an 80 kilometer an hour uh, speed limit in place. Uh, that speculation was fueled by comments from junior government ministers, but certainly the investigators right now have not come out and made any formal statements to that effect. And indeed, the black boxes that were on board the train have not yet been examined uh, and so that isn't the kind of uh, evidence that the judge would necessarily have been looking at right now uh, but certainly he feels that there has been enough evidence here as I say uh, to formally charge now the train driver with 79 counts of homicide uh, due to professional recklessness and of course because of all the injuries that were aboard that train as well uh, so far an indeterminate number of counts of uh, causing injury by professional recklessness and of course bear in mind uh, there are still at least 22 passengers listed as being in critical condition and so there could be a greater number of counts of uh, homicide if the death toll mounts Andrew. All right Carl thank you very much for that Carl Penhall joining us from uh, Santiago de Compostela uh, the scene of the train, tra uh, train tra tragedy uh, late last week. Carl thank you.